Hi, and welcome to the UNAS Midwatch Podcast. Thanks for listening. If you're enjoying our podcast and would really like to help us out, please subscribe and leave a review wherever you are listening. It really does help us grow our audience. If you are on Facebook or Instagram, head on over and subscribe and follow us so you never miss an episode. We also have a Patreon available, so you can help us keep this podcast going. Just look us up and become part of the UNAS today. Now sit back and enjoy the show. What's up, man? Hey, ho. Hey, did you go out in town? Uh, I have not made it out yet, no. Oh, man. You got some good stuff. You ever been here? Uh, no, I can honestly say I have not. I didn't even know there was a Jacksonville, North Carolina. Neither did I. Oh. Hey, fuckers. Hi. What are you oh, doing here? Hello. Well, I figured I would bring your guys' uh, new watch stander up tonight. You're bringing the new watch stander up? Well, he didn't really know where to go, so I figured I'd just show Is he not qualified? I don't know. Are you qualified? Qualified in what? This I'll watch. take that as a no. Sweet Jesus. It's a good thing that I'm going to be here, you know? I wouldn't make it through this watch without me. Oh, okay. So, what are you here for, buddy? I'm here to get qualified. You're not qualified? It's qualified. No, oh, sweet Jesus. Well, I'm glad you're here. At least there's somebody up here qualified. It's not me. Hey, uh, weird question. Have you ever thought about your poop? Like coffee brands? No. Clarify what exactly you are meaning here. Well, if you think about it. I deal with poop all the time. Okay. He's, he's, he's a good one. Glad you came up. So if you think about it, when you poo, it's kind of your own roast. Think about how coffee's made. Poo's a similar process. Everyone loves their own brand. Right? I mean, think about it. You have a brand. I have a brand. And in those brands, we all have different flavors or colors or smells of poo, just like coffee. He sounds like Kopi Luwak. Yeah, I don't know what you just said, but yeah. Dude, that, I don't know if I'm going to be able to drink coffee again. Hey, so, answer someone the, answer the answer fucking that phone. phone. Hey, phone hey, man. New Get guy, him. answer the phone. So, do you know how to answer the phone? No. Okay. Hey, Nandor, where's Guillermo? I yeah. get that reference. Um, but yeah, think about it. There's different types of coffee. There's different types of poo. I mean, do you have the same poo every time? No, not generally. No. Exactly. How do you how do you poo there, uh, new guy? Is it the same every time, or is it different? It's a little different, uh, but usually the same color. Usually, okay. Well, that's but the smell is different, right? Sometimes, sometimes. So think about all the different types of coffee there is, right? You have medium roast. Then you have those days where. It went through your system a little too long, and it's a dark roast. You have those days where it just flew out of you, like on Taco Tuesdays. And that's a light roast, or a blonde, if you will. That's fucking disgusting. It's usually green. I think you're eating way too much tricks. (laughs) Jesus, dude. Do you eat nothing but vegetables? Uh, Mostly, mostly, yeah. Oh, I mean, that's good. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Put that on your email. Put that on your email there, buddy. Hey, new guy, I'm having a hard time placing your accent. Where are you from? I'm from Brownsville, Texas. Ah, makes sense now. Does it? Because I don't know. To me, to me it does. I've never been to Brownsville, Texas, me so neither. maybe you should enlighten us. So it is the town directly across the border from Mexico, down at the most southern tip of Texas. That's true, that's true. So you lived in the tip? Just the tip. Okay. But yeah, can you imagine like trying to name different types of poos? Fudgy poo. Or like set of Folgers, Pooldiers. You think about these too much. Bullet poo? He doesn't even work with poop, and he's thinking about this too much. Maxwell butt poots coffee? Jesus Star poop. Christ. Poop bucks. Black poo coffee? Caffier flappes? Caramel pookiato? Death squirts coffee? There's so many types of poo. Why Why can't we think of it like coffee? Dude, you're talking about, like, super in-depth about poop, and you haven't even asked this dude his name yet. Poo brothers? I'm just saying, that is something to be considered. Scat bucks? Scat bucks, perfect. What if we just thought about it that way and we all started naming the types of poo we have? Hmm. New guy, what's your name? I am Public Human Jeffrey Lopez Ortega. Oh, okay. 
Nice to meet you. Why did you tell us your middle name also? Or is that like two last names? No, no, he's my middle name. Just just call me J-Lo. Ooh. I don't know if I can call you J-Lo. Public semen J-Lo. I'm calling him J-Lo. Absolutely. Where the fuck is Chris at? I don't know. He's going to come up here. He's going to be like, oh, I've been working so hard. You guys don't even know. You guys don't even know what it's like working hard. And then he's going to be like, sorry I'm late. But it's not going to happen. He's going to be like, well, I'm not actually late because I was taking care of X, Y, and Z, so... Uh, I was exactly where I was supposed to be when I was supposed to be there. Totally. <laughs> he just dropped his pistol. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Leon. Is that thing loaded? Yes. Oh. Luckily, the safety was on with the firing pin block, so... Did you... No did NDs. Did you properly make sure it was safe by safety, magazine, chamber, safety? Well, that would be clear in saving it. That would Shut be. up. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> safety thumb check holster... Bail obviously was not up. No, that's what I get for fiddling with my pistol on watch. It's because his damn belt's upside down. I think he said before that makes it more easily accessible. That's correct. That's something we used to do in the uh, Marine Corps. Flip the bail, drop the gun, kick it up, shoot. Yep. Nice. I like that idea. I'm going to turn my belt upside down. Yeah. How are you even have a gun if you're not even called? I went to the armory and I asked, and they said, oh, hey. Okay. I mean, I'll accept it. So do you even know what watch you're supposed to be on? No. Okay, well, you are going to be the nuts. Nighttime uniform, tactical soldier. Sounds cool. Sounds cool. So you married or anything? Yeah, I got a wife and two kids. That's it? Okay. I have 17, so. No, I don't. See? See, I'm trying to blend. What's up, guys? Hey. Where's Drew at? Sleepy. It's about time. Man. Did you just wake up? Uh, Did you just ask where I was and you're the one who of. showed up late? I, get, well, I thought maybe you were too. With all the stuff going on in the division. I didn't he's, know you were just around Dude, the I'm corner. still crapping. Yeah, he's not even on watch. He no, just uh, came up here to nobody lend came his to ask me for your help. No, nobody came to ask me for help. I'm literally it's waiting. They're still out. There's chicken wings downstairs in the oven I was going to bring up as a surprise for you guys. I'm just waiting for them to be done. Well, thanks for ruining the surprise. Yeah, yeah now they're not going to come since Chris wants to be an asshole. That's the problem. They're in the oven. Here. How am I being an asshole? They should be in a fryer. I agree. We don't have a fryer. I've told you guys this like six times, or oh. else I'd be making fried Oreos. Air fryer. Air fryer, man. We don't have a fucking air fryer either. I have one on order. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I heard that they do in the Master Gunny's mess. I don't think so, because I've been in there too clean, and I yeah, don't have seen one. one. I'm hardly ever in there as it is. Speaking of air, we should get one for our, our place. Yeah, don't you guys have one down in the shop? No. You could synthesize one. Yeah. Maybe. You know what? Create air fryer. Wait, why don't you just go all out and have it create a fryer for the galley? Nah. Because we can't create the It's not as healthy. Oil. Think for yourself, or? Uh, yeah. And I'm not thinking for myself. How often are you guys in the shop? Every day. God, yeah. I'm talking about everybody on the Taz. I don't care about everyone. Wait, wait, wait. Step back, step back. Chris. What? Were you sleeping? Like, why did you come? He's still sleeping. I was. You look like you're still asleep. I think he just just woke up again. Or he's drunk from his night out in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Have you even met Public Seaman J Lo? Dude, I I literally just got here, asked where you were, and now I'm. Wait, what, J Lo? Yes. Are you up here to stand watch? He's actually standing Drew's watch. He's unqualified. So uh, hence the reason why I don't have a gun and he does. So you're a Yui. Wait, so too many questions. Dude, I'm just, I don't I'm just hanging out up here. Push the I believe button. Yep. Gotcha. Smack that shit hard. All that I believe. There's a lot of it going on right now. So do you think of poo as like coffee? Oh, God. Oh my here God. we go again. Poo as coffee? Man, yeah, never mind. Open your mind. Just open your mind to it. And as all your different kinds of blends that you shoot out your bum, just like all the different types of coffee. And that's where I'll leave it. I won't talk about it. And if you're dehydrated, that's like super dark roast. See? See? He gets it, and he wasn't even here. Oh, my God. That's because both of you guys think the same. Next time I see y'all, you're going to tell me about your fucking super dark shit roast thing you took. Ooh, no, this is a fair question. During your double dragon, what type of roast did you produce? Uh, mine was the breakfast blend. Yeah, it's definitely a light blend <laughs> because it was going through him so fast, it didn't have time to roast more. 
It actually looked like tea. Like tea that didn't steep long enough. Like average tea steep is about five minutes. I saw like someone... a, a spicy light coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone pass me in the P-Way earlier that was uh, carrying a bottle for your analysis. Dude's pee was super fucking dark. And I was like, hey man, is that CLP in that bottle? Right. And I got the nastiest look from this dude. Like... Like, I just disrespected him and his family. I was like, well, <laughs> well maybe you should drink some more fucking water. Then. I mean, drink mostly we survive. one half canteen in 30 minutes. Yeah. We mostly survive on coffee and... Caffeine and nicotine. Energy drinks. And hatred. And hatred. And then more energy drinks after that. Yeah. Which I could use one right now. You a coffee drinker there, new guy? I drink the shit out of some coffee. See? It's all coming together. Poo and coffee are pretty much the same thing. He just said he drinks the shit out of coffee. Did your voice right? just change? Literally. Well, he no. drinks coffee. I've been talking like this the whole time. It, no. It, what? it did just change. You haven't been fucking talking like that the whole time. I'm from Texas. What do you expect me to sound like? Like I'm, you did before? Yeah, I'm not going to say it out loud, but you sound... Different. You don't sound like a Mexican anymore, Jay. Hold on, hold on. That's so, because I have a Mexican name, you expect me to have a Mexican accent? Do me a favor. Because you did. Do me a favor. Say your name. Jeffrey Lopez Ortega. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so <laughs> spot on, J Lo. Spot on. I don't. I don't fucking understand. Just push. I believe. So, I'm just wondering why. How did this coffee thing even come up? Because Rob's a, a fucking weirdo, that's how? Just a thought. That's all it was. That was the at first thing point? we decided to discuss when yeah, we got at, up here. At was what point did you actually think through this? He's did you, probably been was, researching this for three months now. Probably I since you're Double Dragon. Literally on the toilet this morning and I thought of it. Was it because you drank some coffee and it put you there? No, it was like the that pre, pre-coffee poo. The first one when you wake up and kind of get things moving, and then you have the coffee that flushes the rest of you out. So it was that pre one, and I'm sitting there. Wow, this really is bad. Stinks. And I had the fans going. I sprayed, and it's still bad. And I was like, this brand is gross. Didn't use no poopery. Wait, you sprayed huh? what? Yeah, poopery. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Did I use it? No. Have you ever gotten in that weird conversation with people when you ask about what the normal amount of pooping is? And people get, like, highly offended if you try to say that they're not pooping whatever your version of normal is. I'm a four times a day pooper. Sweet Jesus. Are you serious? Four yeah, to six times a, a day is actually normal for do- per doctors. Jeez, I'm fucking How is your slow. butthole not, like, bleeding constantly? <laughs> Especially with a shit na- six or times the a day. Is Lots of fiber. Single ply. Fiber would be more abrasive on the way out. My skin's yeah, really well. Like- Jeez. That's fair. I guess for you, you're used to eating MREs and stuff. Yeah. Like, your well, belly well and everything greased. is still... I'm up four a day. Easy. One in the morning, post-coffee, post-afternoon coffee, then a, a late evening. Yeah. Like, I'm a once, maybe twice a day type person. When when and you I, say that to someone who shits six times a day, and they're like, I would die. I don't understand how you do that. Yeah, like, that's a lot of circulation being lost in your legs. Like, do you have well, to take blood thinners to no. make sure that <laughs> I don't you're not going to get clots and stuff? An hour at a time. Dear like diary. Diary. Today I took a dark roast. <laughs> Dear shittery. I'm just saying. My diet consisted of blah, blah, blah. That's it's a, a valid l- argument. That's I don't a care lot what you of games say. of Among Us right there. Yeah, I don't play on my phone. What do you do? Like, Leon, when he was sick, just reading the shampoo bottles over and over? I just sit there. Get it over with. Over God. and over oh God. is He's because one of those people that thinks about life while they're taking this shit. Hey, over and over is because it says at the end, rinse and repeat. So he did. Always repeat. Always. It says to. Right. Do you guys not? Do you rinse and repeat? Front to back, baby. Good. We actually invested in a bidet. Do you have one of those? Because it sounds like you need one. That's actually a good Probably idea. Probably keep your butt hole from getting uh, changed. Is it a tushy? There's a brand no, you use tushy. the bidet on your tushy. No, there's a, there was a brand yeah. called Tushy. Never heard of it. And I deal with waste all the time. Yeah, what do you do on board? You keep saying that. I'm a sanitation and waste removal specialist. Okay. Sorry, I clean name? shitters. Ah, there we go. Sorry? Mm-hmm. It's actually pretty cool. You get to see what everybody eats and how it comes out of them. It's fun. God. <laughs> so you're like a poop doctor. That's affirmative. He's not actually a doctor. He just cleans it. 
Have you ever heard of the doctors that do poop transplants? What? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? No, it's a legit it's the, thing. They will take a healthy person's it's the enzymes poop in your stomach and put it into your body. That makes me physically uncomfortable. Like it's that way you get all the probiotics yeah. and stuff that you should that you're currently lacking, and then their poop creates all the bacteria and germs it needs to inside your body, so your body can start being regular and healthy. I'll give you some of my I poop. Think he's there, watched an well, long special on this. You don't have to swallow it. If that's what you're worried about. So. Oh, thank God! I was I was picturing this completely different. Yeah, he he, like he a, was going all human. It's not an enema like either. Cake icing, like oh, little oh. cone thing. He was going all human centipede be like a with cake. it. That's gross. A shit cake. Say that again. He was going all human centipede cake. with it. Oh yeah. Still gross. So that's it. You just clean poopers. It's good. Mm. I'm glad. It's fun. You should look into it sometime. I have looked into it. I clean my own. Yeah. Well. Because I have to, because nobody else uses it. And he, clean, he broadens your horizons. He cleans mine, too, because I definitely do not. And see other people. I do, and it's getting freaking annoying. <laughs> All my back splashes on the back of the toilet that don't wash away. That's if you hit the toilet. My <laughs> God. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Sometimes I think you go in there blindfolded, do the three spins, just drop trial. Wherever <laughs> it goes, it goes. I mean, that's it's like a it's like a game. That's the devil dog in them. For who? The Seven <laughs> Eleven game. Yeah. <laughs> just like, and it's not see. like anybody else uses your toilet, so I don't know what like the problem is. The real question is, when this happens, do you giggle to yourself and go, <laughs> "Rob's gonna clean this"? Sometimes I do. Sometimes. I just go in there. I got a power washer and just I spray. I don't use cleaning that stuff. Sounds efficient. Actually, in his yeah, it sounds very efficient. I mean, it's not killing anything, but I can. Not touch the poo on the walls. How high on the walls does it I get? got the poo on yeah, me. I, I haven't like measured. I'm not going to go, like, oh man, five feet. Congratulations. New record. Maybe have like a gold star you can give him when it hits him. I'm not. I'm going to give I'm going to shit in his pillow. That's where that's going. <laughs> hey, so when I was a young lad and I went on my crapping tour back then when we called it cranky, uh, I worked up in the wardroom and our supply officer magically somehow every single day she was the one that found the female head to be dirty it was so gross because we would go in we would clean the heads clean the serums clean the ward room itself and she'd come in and be like why haven't you guys done that well we have well no you haven't go take a look inspections coming up because it would be like 9 30 xo is going to walk around um Leon, do you know what XO is? XO? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he had one. They had XOs in Marine Corps. Yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't long. Anyways, so she would go and find this, and every day we'd have to go in there, and right after this 04 got done, she was inspecting, magically found this dirty-ass shit stains all over the toilet, and then come back and get us and be like, you guys need to go clean that. And But she would make a mess. It was sounds like officers. It was freaking gross because clearly it's you know her that's super soaker two fifty all over the place, <laughs> and then she would just come out that's and gross. somehow blame us for not doing our job. Oh hey, my alarm's going off for the wings. I'm gonna run downstairs and grab them. Okay, sweet. Ooh, before you go, I got a dad joke for up. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shit, and I'll see y'all later. Okay, how does the moon cut its hair? How does the moon cut its hair? Yep. I don't know. Hold on. I want to think about this. I'm still waiting before I get the wings for this answer. Eclipse it. Oh, nice. my God. That's funny. Are you grabbing drinks while you're gone? Sure, I'll grab drinks on the way. I don't trust that answer. Well, you came up late anyway, so you should grab drinks. Uh, okay. I'm actually in the Not for, Christmas, though. I'm just going to go to the machine. I actually want an energy drink. Okay. Anything else there, big guy? No. Okay. Well, welcome to the party. Yeah. And yeah, go get drinks. All right, I'll be back.
Hey, you're back. I need this caffeine so bad. Just exhausting. Okay. Sorry. What you been doing? Just dealing with personnel stuff and some of the guys' pay issues. So, right. Well, so I don't know the ins and outs of it, but have you ever gone to the financial specialist and had to like do budget forms and stuff like that? I mean, I was a financial specialist. Oh, okay. So you know what so I'm saying? So yes, yes, he has. Yeah. I've gone to myself several times and they're like, I'm messed up. You should do a budget on yourself. Uh, what's, I mean, you can tell me one of the craziest things you've ever dealt with, but what I'm dealing with right now is a young sailor that has gone to school for temporary assigned duty. Unassian. Yeah, my bad. That's how out of it I am. You're out of your ways, Nancy. I, I feel like I've been up for 36 hours. It's probably close to that. Um, 12. And anyways, when he was there at school, they changed his set of orders to actually be a full-blown transfer. Okay. So now he's not getting the necessary money he needs to pay for the barracks that he's living in. Barracks is asking for money. And just found out that he's been paying for it on so his credit card. He was out of pocket. here on he his was, command. Correct. The foul. Yes. Okay. We sent and him to school. Where Where did he transfer to? A shore command? It's just a training facility base. I mean, the schoolhouse. So is he going considered. to teach now? or You don't know. No. no, he's he's not going to teach. He's going there to learn. So why is he getting a full-blown transfer? That's what we're trying to sort it out. I but think, where is he transferring to? No, they treated it like instead of going temporarily assigned there, they transferred him to the schoolhouse as a student. Probably because the school's so long. To, yeah, exactly. And that's what we were learning very much is that, well, it's over X amount of months, so now it's just going to be a transfer. But it screwed up his pay. It screwed up his housing money, his food money. He essentially needs to pay rent, but he doesn't have money to pay the rent, so he's been putting it on credit this whole time. Why is he Basically, paying rent? Is he paying rent in the barracks? No, yeah, like essentially paying rent, because he has to pay for the barracks room. The barracks is asking him for money. Needless to say, we're trying to sort it out, because he's expected to uphold his bills, which he has been doing on credit, all the while fighting with the personnel office there, trying to get it situated. But they're saying that they can't do much for him. It's just a bumbled mess. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a headache. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Right? I'm not going to school until they get this sorted out. I mean, I probably will never go to school anyways. That's yep. what I'm saying. Like, lessons learned. And I don't even understand about why they, in the UNAS, why they send people to school anyway. Make them say that they can afford it and should the UNAS screw up with their pay, they can go ahead and front the costs anyway. Oh, and here is 80% up front. We'll pay you the other 20 later. I don't know why. Well, on the other side of that, Bills was telling me that he gets all his training from his watch. So why are we even sending people to school if we have that capability? It's a good question. Well, I think with Bills, though, you're talking about just for medical procedures and stuff. Because that is a very set standard way of doing business. Maybe there's time for that. I don't know. But maybe going to school for, in my case, an electronic system, it's because you never know what can happen where and when. And you have to be ready to react right away. I still think that could be like online training. Maybe. I mean, look. It would be more cost effective that way. That's what I'm saying. Is like If he can get his training this way, why are we sending people to schools? I know it's a new military, but it seems like that's a dumb mistake. I mean, let, let's be honest. None of the old military that were hundreds of years old still didn't have this shit figured out. Touche. It's true. But maybe they just fear that the online training would be treated like the the general UNAS training that's required each year. Hmm. Where you just kind of, I've heard of people, you just click on through it, you don't really pay attention, you hurry up. Well, that's a good thing is you can't click through it. It's all piped into your brain stem. That's true. So you're almost forced to sit through the whole training and do what you need to. Osmosis, all of it. Yeah, essentially. What do you guys think a fix is? Like, what's something that we could suggest? 
to where uh, Junior Unassian doesn't have to pay out of pocket, especially when they earn so little. Why? I think I just said Why it. does the UNAS only... Let's not send them to school. But I'm saying until those programs are written and put there, the schools are still going to remain in place. What's like an immediate fix? I have an idea. So everyone is required to have a some sort of government credit card, correct? Yes. So only authorize the amount of their travel on that card. So it's kind of like a prepaid card. Once you get your orders, you go to personnel or whatever dispersing office you need to go to, they load your entitlements onto that card. Or instead of charging the Unassian, just charge the command. You were saying we were paying for it, and then they made it so he's at a different command now? That command should be picking up the tab. If they want to do So the, you're saying, like, the bankers make the UNAS a business, and you're charging the business account. Yeah, because well, yeah, you also got to think, when you use your... Your government credit card for government travel, you're still getting charged interest, which that is ridiculous. Person responsible, yeah, and it's ridiculous. Like, hey, you're responsible for this cost that I'm mandating that you incur. Pretty much, and your credit is at risk for what I'm ordering you to do. Oh, by the way, we're not going to pay you for six months. We don't have the right paperwork or the right receipts. And that is your fault for not saving the receipts for the room that we told you to book. Sounds right. Sounds backwards. Deflect. Sounds like we're doing a lot of disservice to the younger Unassians. Uh, to the left, to the left. <laughs> That's oh. how we pass the buck. Okay. Oh. You actually yeah. look to the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty funny. I don't know. I guess I'm just bothered by it. I'm exhausted, and I don't well, really get yeah. all riled up over it. But I'm just like noticing all these things when they like, happen why? to like people that have been in a while. It sucks, but we've, we've also been in a while. We can afford that type of situation. When it happens to a young Unassian, that's when it kind of like, all right, this is dumb. We should fix this. I just feel like if it's expected from the older guys, why hasn't there been action to fix it now? Because if it happens to an older guy who can handle that type of situation, whether it be monetarily or stress, we just deal with it. No, I'm not talking about like if it happens to you now, but back when you were younger. That, I, I don't know. And then knowing that, hey, I've experienced this problem. Yeah, I just I still think it's like a, I did it, it happened to me, so you're going through it, suck it up, I came out fine kind of thing. Well, the problem with like travel and all that, that's not really a UNAS thing, that's a government thing, that's a outside of the UNAS accounting thing. Yeah, but so, I mean, what you're saying, there's a bunch of restrictions and red tape that should just be torn through. Correct. So why isn't there some sort of, like, why doesn't President Quest, like, recognize all this bureaucratic red tape and start removing? I doubt he even those. knows, if you think about it. He made it, but, I mean, he doesn't micromanage down to that point. True, but that's responsibility of someone to bring it up to the, maybe not him, of course, but. Write a white paper. It Chris. needs to. There you go. Write a what? A white paper. What is that? You don't know what a white paper is? No. It's like a point paper. You know what a point paper is? No. <laughs> okay. Expressing your concerns about something, a big issue that affects everyone. Since we don't have, you know, the other armed services anymore, the question should be why doesn't the UNAS have its own defense finance place? Because they're not servicing more than one military no. service. They're only why? servicing one now. Yeah. Why is it that that budget takes forever to get approved? Yep. It's not like there's anybody else using that budget. Mm. I don't understand how that every time comes up and then they still can't decide on a budget and then they have to go on recess. We really know the answer to that, though. Well, they're busy. I mean, yeah. They are tied up doing good work for the American people. They're tied up having some intern raise some senator's hand because he's too incoherent to know what's going on. I don't know. But I think it's a good idea. A point paper. Or a white paper to address SECUN. And then just say... That's Secretary of UNAS. We are putting the younger UNASians at risk that they don't get paid much as it is, but yet you're making them sign it. And another thing, too, is when we make them sign paperwork saying they can't afford it, it's always at the risk of something that can benefit their career. 
like, hey, go to this school, get this training, learn this new qualification. But if you can't afford it, we can't let you go to school. And you're not going to be as valuable as a team member because you're lesser trained. So take your pick. Maybe that's the problem. You know, it happened to us when we were younger. We were told to decide, make that dumb career mistake by not taking a school. Maybe that's what happened. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to go all I'm these schools, and I keep getting told to pack Zan. Well, that's fair. Yeah. He's not here to say it, so no. I figured. Maybe that's just because it's just the two of you to run the show. If you were gone, just then what? the two of us. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, I'm interested to see who's coming into this third room. Still empty. Still sitting there. I didn't ask for it. It was just showed up one morning. Shit. Yeah, that's... With the type of nights I've had recently, maybe I'll just take a nap in there. I mean, the door is locked. So, if you can use your wristwatch to get in, maybe it is you. Not gonna wear it. Then you're not getting in. Nope. Sorry, Charlie. Ouch, Charlie, that hurt. Charlie bit me. (laughs) No, the Charlie I think of is... uh... The horse. Charlie the horse. What's that from? I, I think it's Char... Hi, Charlie. You want to go to the magical candy land? Oh, yeah. Oh, so annoying. I don't know what that is. Charlie. What he's saying right now? Yeah. Just repeat that about 80 times. That's the entire video. It's this little six-year-old cartoon hand-drawn horse that is just being beckoned. Is this on the that's YouTubes? It. Yeah. Oh, probably why. I don't spend a lot of time there. Oh, that's all I watch. Charlie the Unicorn. Okay. Is it worse than Old Greg? Here, I'll pull it up for you so you can listen to it. Oh, okay. But I like Old Greg. He ever drank whiskey from a boot? Oh, yeah, Charlie. You silly sleepy head. Wake up. Uh, oh, God, you guys. This is better be pretty freaking important. This is oh, a better please, one for God, turn that off. Charlie, this is awful. Some of the stuff on YouTube, I don't get. We were, my kid was searching around. He loves finding dinosaur stuff, and that's all he does. He'll get on a dinosaur kick and want to only watch dinosaurs, you know, it's all he'll pull up. But you start getting into that, like, black hole of YouTube where you just spiral out of control until you find something. And he happened to come across his video, and it was a guy and a girl doing voices for dinosaurs and they were using plastic dinosaurs and they were acting out this whole scene and they had the worst monotone voices I've ever heard in my life. It was like, hello, I am Triceratops and it would sneeze. For some odd reason, these dinosaurs were sneezing. They were sick and the whole video was him acting out this whole thing and that's like a whole sub-genre of videos Adults acting for kids. I hate that. Just like the marketing to the... It's like an educational... No. No, it was just they were bored and... Dumb. It's really dumb. God, they're loud. Yeah, who is that? that? I don't know. That's a... It is way too late to be up that loud. Is that Summers' training that she's been working through? I don't know. I wonder why they're singing Anchors Away. Well, because we don't have I a don't UNAS know. song, they actually sing um, the, like, the Marine Corps hymn and stuff like that. They Just to try to help incorporate everyone. Is there an Air Force one? Um, yeah, there is. It's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> that one is like, Chair Hush, Force. little baby. <laughs> <laughs> my little Air Force, my little Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody makes fun of them. Well, it's easy. Yeah. You know, in the Air Force... Speaking of pay, did you know that if they... He keep keeps going. losing his train of thought. He's trying to sing right now. He is. Look at <laughs> him. You know, no, okay. So in the Air Force, they get paid, right? I think this would help with a budget situation. If they don't get sufficient housing situations... Not like up if, to their standards? Yeah, like if they had to go Sub-standard. to a barracks like us, they actually get reimbursed extra money for like all the suffering that they had to go through i had to live in a one bedroom barracks give me more money like we are so sorry please stay in the air force here's an incentive paycheck and my powder room was insufficient i joined the i wrong didn't service. even get poo there i did not know that yeah 
It's pretty ridiculous. Now, they don't get advanced or promoted quite as quickly. So I guess that's the turn. Like, that's the whatever. Yeah, who the cares about promotion you if you're getting extra money just for being somewhere else other than an Air Force spot? Like, can you imagine when we actually finally deploy on this thing? But we're on the ship part of it, and we're out at sea for however long. If anybody should be incentivized, it should have been the sailors back in the Navy. And now that it's all of us, it doesn't matter. I don't know. I thought Marines had it pretty Because we're hard all too. in the same boat. Eh? I see what you did there. Thank you. I'll Except for it's not a boat. Whatever. It's part boat. It was also part funny. No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like my Eclipse It joke. I, th- I like that. I thought it was pretty good. That was a good dad joke. Where'd you come up with that? Or what made you think of it? I don't know. I've been uh, working on making stupid jokes to make... Uh, well, it worked. To make Rob feel better about his stupid jokes. My jokes take thought. So did that one. Exactly. See how hard that was? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I have a joke. Okay. How do meteorologists know what the weather is on the top of a mountain? How do meteorologists know what the weather is on the top of a mountain? Oh, it's usually snowy. I don't know. I don't know. So how do meteorologists I heard the, the weather question. on top of a mountain? Climate. Uh, That's boom. good. Shh. Okay. I was building some stuff in our shop, and I had some spare stuff in my pocket. I walked out, and Liam was standing there. He saw me digging around in pocket. He's like, what the hell are you doing? I was like, digging for my nuts. And I just happened to have two nuts in my pocket, so I pulled them out and threw them on the table. I find that hilarious. He did not. When did this happen? Like last week. Yeah. Why would you have two nuts in your pocket? Because I just told Because he wanted to do that joke to me. That's yeah, like the only like reason. Literally holding on. That is the only waiting. reason. Like, how long were you jostling around your old pocket until you're like, until he finally somebody asked. He, he was probably sitting in there for an hour waiting for me to come out so he could just do that five seconds <laughs> or of joke. Or he's been I mean, I'll admit, I'll, I stared at him for a good two minutes to make sure he noticed me so it looked like I was playing around in my pocket. You probably were. And in the event you got caught, you have a built-in excuse. I You're mean, like, that's oh, I was just not a joking. bad idea. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. And they're like, how long were you waiting on that joke? 30 <laughs> years. I was in there for about three and a half minutes. Yeah, 35 years. Oh, man, I'm so yeah. tired. I'm like, I need more caffeine. Well, I mean, we only five more minutes, and they should be up here. So. I'll tell you what, Jacksonville, North Carolina sucks. What'd you do? Well, that's what I heard. I didn't even go out. I did. I went to the museums. I went to the the Croatan National Forest and just yeah, lo- I looked did at trees. That mm-hmm. was pretty nice. It's peaceful. Uh, unfortunately, the big swath we cut through it driving up here kind of sucked. And then I went to the old Marine Corps Air Base they had and looked at it sadly. Yeah, it was a sun setting. Were you shedding a tear as an eagle flew over? Mm-hmm. Playing songs of freedom doing push-ups so and we're doing proud it. to be an american where at least i know <laughs> i'm free i think we get it it's like, <laughs> oh y'all know that song too oh yeah it's pretty <laughs> popular you know that too <laughs> oh you've heard that one before oh my god that's my ringtone oh ringtones you remember when that was a thing and you had songs as ringtones or even worse the ring backs or you you oh, call yeah, somebody but... and their ring, they would like play music for you. Yeah. Oh. But like, imagine the amount of money that phone companies upcharged on that. Oh, like ridiculous. you could buy this song, or man, it might be the same song, but you have about four or five different choices of which nine second clip you wanted, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, I just can't decide: Got genie in a bottle or blowing kisses my way. My mom had one on hers, and it was awful. It was all distorted, and it was supposed to be something very nice. It was supposed to be for Elise. I don't know if you know mm-hmm. what that is. Yeah, I know. Um, and then when it started out, it was fine, but then it got really distorted and really, really loud really fast, and I told her after about six weeks of it, I'm like, I am not calling you again. Was So this was the playback? Yeah, the oh, ring okay. back, I think they called it, and... I told her, I was like, I am not calling you again. If you want to talk, you will call me. Why? What's wrong? You ring me back, Mom. I didn't have one, so. she's. I was like, I'm not listening to your friggin' ring back again. And she's like, well, I don't know how to turn it off. 
It's like, you need to figure that out because that's annoying. Have you called yourself and listened to that crap? I paid money for that. Oh, well. It was three ninety nine. Well, you got ripped off. Yeah. And it was like early on in the process when they first started coming out. Yeah. So she bought it. Oh, my God, I have to have one. And she went classical, so I can appreciate that. However, it was still new technology, and it was poor new technology. You know, I used to hate the songs where, like, I can't think of any example now, but where it's such a common chorus, like, you would know the tune, but they play it in phone and computer beep boop beeps oh, and it's just yeah, like yeah. that phone version of the song it's like jingle bells oh, played on like a, the phone tone like you're typing right. it in on a synthesizer like, this is a sweet casio <laughs> i i made that with my wristwatch my calculator <laughs> wristwatch me and chandra are gonna go hang out <laughs> chandra <laughs> i think that was her name was it her name I think so. Sweet pants, Napoleon. Oh, La- that Lafonda. La La Lafonda. La La That's what it was. I haven't even seen a full body shot yet. <laughs> and so I'm getting really teed off. <laughs> <laughs> Guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. I love that movie. That is probably one of the greatest, shittiest movies ever made. Yes, exactly. We had a friend of ours. You want to look like this? First thing you do is glamour get a shots sweet by pair Deb. of these pants. <laughs> glamour shots by Deb. Oh yeah, Deb. That's that's what I thought you were talking about when you said Chandra. No, he's Lafonda. Lafonda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. So there's a scene in the movie where he's making nachos. I don't know if you've ever really paid attention to it, but he's sitting there grating that big block of cheese. And then one shot there's a little just a little bit on the nachos, but in the very next shot, the cheese is piled up like a foot high on top of <laughs> yeah? it. Yes. Sounds like my type of nachos. I might have to rewatch that delish. just to see that. Yep. So back when um, I was living with a couple roommates, my friend Mikey went to go see it and did not recommend it to us. He said it was, you know, whatever. It, like he didn't think that we would enjoy it at all. And I remember some time later, months and months had gone by. It's finally the video. We finally, the rest of us three saw it. Of course, it's freaking great. And we're like, why didn't you say anything? And I, he was just adamant. Like, it wasn't in our genre. But we wouldn't have liked it. That's what um, I think makes it a cult classic. Is it's unexpected. Because even a movie like that, for the time, was ahead of its time. But yet filmed like it was behind its time. And I think that's what made it so great. Well, it was so ambiguous with the time, too. And the t-shirts. Yeah. Like, the clothes the were t-shirts. old, but, like, it wasn't necessarily that time period. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, the t-shirt, Napoleon's t-shirts were my favorite thing about that movie. Yes. I think he did a good job. Uh, whoever was wardrobe was... Excellent. That shit was funny. That and Uncle Rico. But you could throw that football over that mountain. You know, back in my day, he used to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. And he takes the fucking stake and throws it and hits Napoleon in the face and knocks him <laughs> off his bike. Oh. Uh, yeah, that shit was great. Eating some chapstick. My lips hurt real bad. My lips hurt real bad. Give me some tots, Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> no, go get your own. Oh, man. Well, hey, look at that. It's time. Oh, thank God. I'm yeah, I'm exhausted. tired. Almost took my mind off of how tired I am. So yeah. thanks for bringing that up again. Mm. Mm. All right, let's turn over. I just, I just want to leave. Yeah, I'm not wasting any time. Later, y'all. Yep. The hell with Drew for not coming back. Yeah, fuck that guy. Later. Bye. Later. UNAS Midwatch stars Robert Williams, Chris Sharp, Andrew Mangione, and Chris Short. Logo created by Natasha Mangione. Special guest Public Seaman Jello Ortega, played by Jerry Owen. Thank you for listening to UNAS Midwatch.